Hello everyone, today I picked up a Poke Audio PSW10 from the thrift store and this is going to be an official cleaning project. I've already taken a look, the subwoofer is in pretty dirty shape. I'm pretty sure this guy left it in like the garage or something because it's dirty and it has roach eggs. So, it's going to be another one of this uh, project. So let's pop off the grill and check to see the condition. This is the condition all before I even touch the driver. Look at that. That's right there is a roach egg. Let's see it really closely. And right there is another roach egg. So I already assume there's gonna be a ton of roach eggs in this in this beast. So let's see how well I can clean them up and it's gonna be an outdoor project. Right there the port. This is all roach feces I think right there. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a project itself. Alright, anyway, stay tuned for the thrifting poke audio subwoofer. Okay, so this is how the subwoofer looks like after a quick cleaning. Um, try to clean it as much as can. Again, um, this thing came with a broken uh, grill peg stuck inside there. But, and it was a little bit on the oily side. Yeah, somebody like, had some oil on top. Whatever, but then in pretty rough shape but I don't know it's kind of dusty on the exterior and wasn't well, well taken care of like again I'm not sure if this was a an outdoor subwoofer that someone use oh, my camera's not that clear there you go but yeah so outside looks okay but I try to wait till you see inside I guarantee you we're gonna be finding some surprises inside so again <laughs> let's see how it goes as I was taking a quick look there's also roach eggs on the spider uh, roaches, they tend to leave roach eggs of the spider, the basket, and whatever crumbs they can find will leave eggs. Now we're going to take one quick look with the amplifier off. Um, I unbolted the plate amplifier. and I know you can't really see that good, but it looks pretty clean. Like, I'm surprised. Like, this thing wasn't covered because, like, some subwoofer, like, for example, I have a veil line. Like, it has a cover, so I think it can get inside, but... Oh, my hands in the way I can see that on the bottom so this thing might be actually be worth saving I'm surprised the roaches didn't try to lay their eggs on the capacitors or something or the resistors and whatnot but yeah this is worth saving so okay I'll, I'll keep this and I'll clean it so this is a cleaning project so well, today is uh, sunshine today I figure is a good day to clean the subwoofer and you won't believe what I found was dead in there Okay, so anyways, it still looks pretty, pretty decent shape. It's not sanitized yet, so I gotta use the Clorox wipes to sanitize it. Uh, remember the sound insulation, all the thing? I just ripped it off because you know what I found inside? There's a trash can. Look at this right there. Look at that. Whenever you buy and use uh, speakers, subwoofers in general, anything that has a base port, so I plugged it right here. But anything that has um, a port, you want to make sure that you check inside because you don't know what's been living in, inside the subwoofer. It's like, for example, the other video for the Veodyne subwoofer app. It was pretty much like covering roach infested eggs. Like, <laughs> it's pretty nasty. And it had candy wrappers, newspapers, and one at coupons inside. So again, if you're buying, if you don't want to go through this hassle and clean subwoofers in general, then I advise buying a sealed enclosure without a base port. That way it would be a lot easier to clean. If not, you'll end up having to do what I did. And this driver is pretty much clean. It had capsule eggs on the sides. You see the rust is this still there, but yeah, anyways. Cleaning project, I figure I'd give this subwoofer an extra chance of life. Unfortunately, the sound insulation is not gonna be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try cleaning it up, sanitize this subwoofer box and just give it a second chance with all the sound insulation and it'll just be um pretty much hopefully good as clean as I can. Anyway, stay tuned for the videos. <laughs> 